Natsuo was a school student and had a crush on his teacher named Hina, but she has a boyfriend. Natsuo and his friend go to Cairo with some girls. They all introduce themselves, but one girl is not interested. She introduces herself as Rue. Rue goes to get drinks, but Natsu follows her. They have a little chat about their boring condition in Cairo. Natsuo notices Rue resembling Hina. Rue wants to ditch their friends, so she asks Natsuo for a favor and takes him to a hotel. Rue asks Natsuo for some plot development, but Natsuo hesitates, thinking about Hina. After remembering she has a boyfriend, he decides to do it. After some plot development, Natsuo wakes up as Rue is getting dressed to leave. Natsuo is indeed thinking about it. This is his first time walking on the street near her house. Natsuo goes directly to his friend and talks about what happened between him and Rue, and how he has mixed feelings about the situation. The next day at school, Natsuo is approached by Hina on the rooftop. Natsuo asks her what happened because she looks sad. Their conversation is interrupted by the class bell, so Hina and Natsuo go to class. At night, Natsuo goes home and starts his writing work. The next day at school, Natsuo goes to the rooftop to complete his writing but sees Hina crying in a corner. Natsuo wonders and asks her what happened. Hina says only adults can understand her situation, which upsets Natsuo because he wanted to help her. He starts to ask why, but she thinks he's looking down on her. Later at home, Natsuo is thinking about Rue and Hina when his father interrupts and talks about his second marriage. Natsuo's mother died when he was young. While they are talking, his stepmother arrives. Natsuo's father welcomes her, but Natsuo is shocked to see Hina and Rue with her. Later, Hina and Rue introduce themselves and eat and drink with the whole family. Natsuo goes to take a bath, but Rue follows him and talks about how much her mother has gone through. She asks him to behave normally as if nothing ever happened. After that, Natsuo went to his old man and congratulated him about his marriage, but said he should have told him earlier. Next day, they decide to move to a new house. Natsuo and his father are adjusting their boxes while Natsuo is working. Hina teases him because they started to live under the same roof and told him to call her Hina, not Sensei, because they are siblings now that makes Natsuo blush. Later, Hina forgets to wear clothes after a bath because she has a habit and gets freaked out seeing Natsuo, so she puts some clothes on. Their parents went outside and Hina was sleeping. After seeing Hina, Natsuo tries to kiss her but Rui arrives before Natsuo can get close, kicks Hina, and takes her to his room. Next day, Natsuo is late for school so his hair looks messy. His friends want to see the new transfer student so they decide to go look for her, but Natsuo is surprised because it was Rue. Ruby goes to Natsuo and before she could say anything, Natsuo stops her and takes her outside to talk. Natsuo asks her not to tell anyone about their relationship, so Ruby decides not to talk in school and leaves. That's what was going on in class, but he is approached by Hina. Hina asks if there is something happened between him and Rui last night, so Natsuo explains the situation. After that, Natsuo goes to class and sees Rui sitting alone. He asks her what happened, and Rui explains that she has no social skills like Hina does, so no one is really interested in her. Natsuo decides to become her friend and help her, but they start arguing with each other. Everyone starts to laugh at them, saying they only want to become friends with her. Later at home, Natsuo goes to take a bath but freaks out seeing Rue taking a bath. Rue thanks him for his help at school and asks him to come in. Ruby talks about the situation between Hina and her boyfriend, that things are not going well. After baths, they leave. Next day, their parents are not at home so the three of them are having dinner together. After dinner, Hina gets a call from her boyfriend so she goes outside for a bit and comes back crying. When Natsuo is about to ask what happened, their parents arrive so he can't get his answer. After that, everyone goes to their rooms. Natsuo is thinking about Hina and gets frustrated. Next day after school, Natsuo goes to a coffee shop to meet his friend Fumiya. Later at night while they are going home, Natsuo is shocked to see Hina talking to a person in a car. Natsu is concerned and thinks about Hina and Rue. Later at home, Natsuo goes to Hinarun to clear his misunderstanding and ask about his affair but she says this is about adult's life and started pushing him. Hina pushes her to bed because he has eyes of a child. After their conversation, Natsuo decides to leave, he doesn't regret what happened between him and Rue. Next day, while everyone is having breakfast, his father goes to wake up Natsuo but gets a letter from his room and Natsuo is not there, and his shoes are also gone. Later, Ruby goes to search for Natsuo. 
Natsuo is at Fumiya's house when he sees Ruby on the street looking for him, so Natsuo takes her in. Later, Rui tells Natsuo about hearing Hina with her boyfriend on the phone. She also goes and tries to convince her to stop, but it doesn't go well. Later that night, they return to their home. Everyone is sitting in the dark but after seeing them, their parents apologize for the marriage without asking them. Hina also returns home at the same time and apologizes for her behavior. Next morning, he agrees with Natsuo but he gives her the cold shoulder. While eating, Natsuo and Rui decide to execute their plan. Next day at school, they start to follow her. As the days pass by from day and night, everywhere she goes they follow her. After some time at home, Rui takes her phone to find something about her boyfriend but that doesn't work. While Natsuo and Ruby are at a coffee shop, Hina and her boyfriend accidentally run into them. They start to explain everything between them but Natsuo gets angry hearing them. Before Natsuo does something, Rui throws water in his face and leaves. Natsuo follows her while she walks her to the station. She tells her that Natsuo has feelings for her and Hina is not sure about them. They decide not to meet each other from now on. Next day, while Natsuo is having dinner with everyone, he remembers that today is Mother's Day. So he decides to wish his mother and remembers his past with her when he was younger. While he's wishing his mother, Hina and Rue also come to introduce themselves to his mother and wish her. A few days pass by, when he's going to class, a girl introduces herself as Momo. When Ruby is talking to her classmates, she hears some weird rumors about Momo from other students but she avoids them, wanting to decide on Momo by herself. Rui and Momo hang out after school and Momo explains everything about the rumors. Momo asks Rui to be her friend and they start to spend time together. Natsuo accidentally runs into Momo and Rui at the library and spends time with them. After Natsuo leaves, Momo asks Rui if she can ask her out on a date and Rui agrees. Later at home, Rui gets sick after thinking about Natsuo. While she is bedridden, Natsuo looks after her and helps her. Their parents are happy to see that they are getting along. Next day at school, while Natsuo and Momo are eating lunch together, Momo asks Natsuo to come with her after school. Later at Momo's house, they started some plot development, but Natsuo cut Momo's wrist and stopped because it didn't feel right. He asked her about any supermarket near her and made food for her to eat. She cried after eating it because no one had ever treated her that way before and thanked him. Later, Natsuo went to the library to return the book but saw a girl standing with a teacher. He decided to leave but got caught. The teacher introduced himself as Ryaji and the girl introduced herself as Mew. Ryaji forced Natsuo to join the literature club, but Natsuo didn't want to. So Ryaji told him that borrowing a book without permission is a crime and made him join. Mayo headed out to recruit new students because there were only two students in the literature club. The next day, Mu thanked Natsuo for helping her recruit new students, and they started to discuss writing because it's the literature club. Later, Ruby and Momo asked to join the literature club. Natsuo was there, so they went together. Mayu introduced herself as the president of the club while Natsuo and Mu were talking to each other. Rue got jealous seeing Natsuo so close to Mu. Later, Natsuo and Hina were alone at home because their parents were shopping. Hina asked if he had any plans on Sunday so they could hang out. Natsuo agreed, and Hina took him to a famous restaurant to eat. A waitress complimented them on their good relationship, and Natsuo felt embarrassed. After that, they went to other places to enjoy the day. Later, they went to the beach, and Natsuo confessed his feelings for Hina. Hina talked about what happened between her and Shu while spending time at the beach. Later that night, they returned home together and went to their rooms. Hina was reading Natsuo's story that he had given her before. The next day, Rui went to Natsuo's room to confirm her feelings for him and asked for a favor to kiss her. After some time, she left. Later at school, Natsuo ran into a boy who introduced himself as Alex from the same class. After school, while they are walking, they see a pervy thief running. So, Alex and Natsuo run to catch him. After handing over the thief to the police, they are also accused of some false charges. We come to take them, and Alex asks Natsuo if he can set free to go out with him while they are going home. Natsuo is unsure about his feelings toward Rue. Later, in the kitchen, Natsuo talks to Rue about Alex and tells her to go out with him. 
However, Rui gets upset and leaves. Natsuo feels bad about it. Later, he goes to Rui's room to clear things up. Rui reminds him that he's forgetting something while they are kissing. Hina is shocked to see them, and Natsuo stops Hina from telling about him. Hina leaves without listening. Rurita goes to her in her room and clears up the situation. She tells him to kiss her and about her feelings. The next day, Natsuo apologizes to Hina, but Hina tells her she is moving from here to live independently. Later, there is a festival, so everyone decides to go. While everyone is enjoying and playing games, Natsuo takes Hina to the back of the shrine to clear up the misunderstanding. While they are talking, Hina starts crying and tells about her true feelings. She was jealous of Rue and started to leave, but Natsuo stops her and tells her about his feelings. Later, Rue feels bad about Hina leaving the house, so her mother decides to cheer her up and tells her to go outside to freshen her mood. While Rue is shopping, she runs into Natsuo and apologizes to her again about what happened and takes her to a treat. Shu explains his situation and what he's going through. He got divorced from his wife. At home, Rue goes to Hina's room to apologize and try to stop her from shifting to an apartment. However, Hina explains she can't stop. After announcing to the whole family, later, when Natsuo returns home, he finds a letter from Hina with a key to her apartment in it. The next day, the whole family helps her to shift her boxes. After dropping everything, they go back. That's when Natsuo remembers the key that Hina gave him and decides to go see her. When he arrives, the door is locked, so he opens it and enters the room. He sees Hina sleeping. Hina wakes up and thanks him. After that, there is some plot development. Hina goes to make coffee and tells him he can come anytime. The next day, when Rue and Natsuo are going to school, Alex meets Natsuo and introduces himself to Rue. Alex decides to join the literature club with them. So, Natsuo asks Ryoji if Alex can join, and Ryoji agrees. While Natsuo is talking with his friends, Hina appears. Natsuo stops to talk with Hina. When he asks about his feelings, she tells him she has the same feeling towards him. Some plot development later, a school festival arrives, and everyone from the literature club is enjoying their time and doing various activities. The next day, in the literature club, everyone is thinking about what happened to Ryoji because he was on leave for some time. They decide to visit him. Natsuo is shocked to see his apartment. They meet Ryoji and find out he is a professional writer. Because of his work, he took a break from school to complete his book. Ryoji suggests Natsuo to submit his story in a competition. Natsuo is overwhelmed with joy because Ryoji is his favorite writer. Later, Natsuo is going with Mio but accidentally falls from the stairs and fractures his leg. Hina comes to visit Natsuo because she was worried about him. Later, when Natsuo was taking a bath, Ruby joined him to help him wash because he was injured. Later, Natsuo visited her home. While they were enjoying plot development, they got a visit. When Hina went to open the door, she was shocked to see Rue enter and Natsuo there. She started to cry and left. Hina tried to stop her, but she was gone. When Natsuo returned home, he found out Rue had not returned home yet. So, he went to find her and saw her sitting in the park. Rue explained how he found out about Hina and his relationship. When she went to his room and found out the story about student and teacher love, Natsu apologized and explained his feelings. Later, they returned home. Rue cleared up the misunderstanding that their parents had, thinking no one liked their marriage. Rue started to avoid Natsuo and asked him not to talk with each other from now on, putting distance between them. At literature class, Ryaji announced the winner of their competition. Natsuo wanted to be a professional writer, but Rue won the award. Natsuo got discouraged about it, so he went to Ryaji for help. Later, Ryaji explained how Ruby didn't want to take a war and rejected it without specifying why. Ryaji explained that being a writer is not easy, you have to go through many things to become a professional writer. He asked Natsuo if he wanted to be a writer or only needed stats. Natsuo started practicing writing daily and showed it to Ryaji to check his work. Later, his school trip started and they went to the shrine with his friends, starting to enjoy it. The next day, when everyone went to the beach, Ruby asked Kina to talk. Ruby explained everything and told Hina not to worry anymore. She doesn't want problems and put distance between Natsuo. That night, Natsuo went to Hina's room while everyone was getting ready for fireworks. Hina wanted to end the relationship, but Natsuo wanted to take it to the next step. Natsuo gave her a ring, which made Hina happy, as she didn't want to end their relationship. The fireworks started, and everyone from class was on the beach. T. 
Tina and Natsuo were in the room enjoying the view of the sky. Natsuo asked Tina to marry him, making her happier, and they went for some plot development. Later, Hina asked if they wanted to live together, and Natsuo was happy to hear. The next day at school, the head teacher called Hina to talk about some urgent matters. Hina went to the head teacher thinking about what happened. When she arrived, the head teacher showed a photo of Natsuo and Hina's plot development. Hina was shocked to see it and apologized, asking not to tell anyone because it would only create more problems. Later, everyone gathered in the assembly hall. Hina came on stage, greeting everyone for Christmas and explaining that she was getting transferred to another school due to personal reasons. After listening, everyone was shocked. Natsuo asked Roy about what happened, and she also had no clue. Natsuo went to the head teacher's office, but no one told him what happened. Later, at the school rooftop, Ryaji went to talk to Hina and tell her he knew about them and their relationship. Hina started crying, thinking about Natsuo and regretting everything. Later, Natsuo went to Hina's apartment but found out she had moved. Natsuo found a letter that Hina left for him. She explained that their relationship was found out by the school and insisted he not tell anyone. She decided to transfer schools. Hina thanked Natsuo for everything and told him to move on without her and make his career as a writer. She also told him she loved him more than anything. Natsuo became depressed after Hina left. His friends were worried about him, so they went to cheer him up. But he didn't reply. His friends started to beat him up because he was acting like a baby. Natsuo felt powerless because he couldn't help Hina. Later, Natsuo went to Ryuji's place to talk about novels and his work, wanting to distract himself. Rue went to Natsuo's room to give dinner, but he didn't even look at her. Later, Jean invited Natsuo to a public bath, threatening to kidnap him. While taking a bath, Jean told him a story about his past and cheered him up, saying he should keep moving, no matter how he feels and the situation he is in. Later, when Rue went to give Natsuo his dinner, he thanked her and started to focus on his story. Days passed by, and he continued his story, finally completing it. New Year arrived, and Natsuo and Rue went to their friends to celebrate. Everyone decided to go to Ryaji's place because Natsuo wanted to give his story to Ryaji. Later, when everyone left, Ryaji started to read his story and was impressed by it. A few days later, Ryaji invited Natsuo to meet him. When Natsu arrived at Ryaji's place, a man introduced himself as Sukairu. He was impressed by Natsuo's work and took him to the Ritter Awards ceremony, revealing that Ryaji had submitted his work in the competition, and Natsuo had won the award. Natsuo then gave a speech and was very happy to be there. Later, Natsuo returned home, shocked to see Hina there but found out he mistook Rue for Hina. Rue ran away, and Natsuo went to apologize. Finally, Rue confessed her true feelings toward Natsuo and vowed never to let him go again. This brought the anime to an end. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing videos. See you next time, take care.